So for the continuation of our report in chapter 8, the idea of writing a novel on the Philippines. So this is a time where Dr. Sir Sal was thinking about his inspiration to write a novel. Although he have saw and discovered of what truly happened in the Philippines in the hands of the Spaniards during the colonization and the governing of their tyrant and lash system. His readings of Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, which portrays the brutalities of American slave owners and the pathetic conditions of the unfortunate Negro slaves inspired Dr. Rizal to prepare a novel that would depict the miseries of his people under the lash of Spanish tyrants. So, while Rizal was reading a story of uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, which portrays of how the white Americans um, ruled out the black Americans as slaves or known as Negro slaves were treated as an abomination to them. So this time, Rizal prepared a novel that would depict the miseries of his people. In order to concern for his people, he have awakened his conscience and his consciousness to write a novel of how the Spanish was so lash and tyrant during their ruling here in the Philippines. He was then a student in the Central University of Madrid. So at that time, Rizal is a student in the University of Madrid. At that particular moment, he was still in college. So in addition to that, in a reunion of Filipinos in the paternal residence in Madrid on January 2nd, 1884, Rizal proposed the writing of a novel about the Philippines by a group of Filipinos. So, uh, this time Rizal was proposed in writing a novel about the Philippines by a group of Filipinos. So, in other words, Rizal wants some of his friends to collaborate the writing, and this is because to start up the support of his friends. His proposal was unanimously approved by those present among whom were the paternos Pedro Maximino and Antonio Graciano Lopez Jaina Evaristo Aguirre Eduardo Delete Julio Loriente Melicio Figueroa and Valentin Ventura those were the groups of Filipinos that he invited to propose the writing of his novel. Unfortunately, Rizal's project did not materialize. So, those compatriots who were expected to collaborate on the novel did not write anything. In other words, Rizal, who was expecting his friends or compatriots, didn't contribute on his novel. So, it is unfortunate for him to think of it. Although, the novel was designed to cover all phases of Philippine life, however, almost everybody wanted to write. So, even though there are still people who wanted to collaborate in the novel itself, but surely Rizal knows of what really happened in the Philippines. So, the novel itself covers of the life of the Filipinos during the Spanish period. To continue with the chapter itself, this is the moment where Rizal wanted to continue his writing all over of his own before going back to the Philippines to continue the writing of No Limitangari or in English, Touch Me Not. So, as the story uh, blended up, Rizal was also in contemplate of why he would like to write and to continue the story in the Philippines, although he had already finished the writing half of it in Madrid. But the story itself was brought up 
in the attention of the Spaniards. Although, this is the time where they caught Abrizal writing a revolutionary novel against an opposition of the Spanish. Well, for them, this is really, really rigid and unac un 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 unacceptable. But, this is the only moment that Rizal would be caught up and surely he got arrested for that. So, even though he was already detained, he would still write up the story to continue some of the chapters and parts of it. So that is all for my first report.